Hi friends, hope you are fine. In this video, let us understand an interesting organal, the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum, as you see, is an interconnected network of tubules and flattened sacs that produce and process lipids and proteins in a eukaryotic cell. At the end of the discussion, you will be able to understand the definition, location, occurrence, origin, structure, presence or absence of riboforin proteins, function and diseases associated with rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum within 5 to 10 minutes. Let's begin with why this name rough endoplasmic reticulum. As you see, this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum that is connected to the nuclear membrane. This rough endoplasmic reticulum is studded with ribosomes on the surface, so it has a rough appearance when viewed under electron microscope. That's why it is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum. So this is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Here it is without ribosome, therefore the surface is smooth, therefore called as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Difference number two regarding the location and occurrence. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is in continuous connection. As you see, this is a nuclear membrane. So it is a continuous connection with nuclear membrane that is located near the nucleus studded with ribosomes. As ribosomes is present on rough endoplasmic reticulum, the function is protein synthesis. Therefore, RAR is abundant in protein synthesizing cells. So this is SCR. As you see, this is the SCR. It is located close to the cell membrane. Numerous SCR is found in lipid synthesizing cells like oil glands of skin. SCR in smooth and striated muscle, it is called as sarcoplasmic reticulum. SCR is located away from the nucleus, close to cell membrane. Difference number three regarding the origin RER is formed from nuclear membrane, so it is in continuity with the nuclear membrane. It is formed from the nuclear membrane. As a channel for transporting proteins, it is the part of endomembrane system starting from nuclear membrane, then moving to RER, then SCR, Golgi apparatus, and finally passing the materials to the vesicles and moving out of the cell. Whereas SCR is in continuous connection with RER, so this is the boundary. SCR is actually a continuation of RER but without ribosome. SCR, as you see, is a continuation of RER but without ribosome. Difference number four regarding the structure. RER is composed of cisternae. These flattened sacs are called cisternae with very few tubules. Whereas SCR is made up of tubules, primarily it is made up of tubules, network of tubules with very few cisternae or flattened membrane vesicles. Difference number five regarding the presence or absence of riboforin proteins. So this is a riboforin protein that is present on the surface of RER. So it is a transmembrane protein that helps in the attachment of ribosome to the surface. Therefore, Riboforin protein is present in RER. In the case of smooth endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes are absent. Therefore, riboforin protein is also absent on the surface of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Difference number six regarding the function of RER and SCR. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is studded with ribosomes on the surface. As you see here, the mRNA is attached to the ribosomes on the surface of RER. RER is specifically involved in the synthesis of membrane and secretory proteins. Also, the proteins that move through the lumen of this RER is modified or it undergoes post-translational modification in the lumen that includes addition of sulfate group or sulfation, then protein folding, glycosylation, etc. The function of RER is the synthesis of membrane and secretory proteins. It is also involved in post-translational modifications, including sulfation, glycosylation, etc. And this RER is a part of endomembrane system starting from nuclear membrane and that is involved in channeling of proteins to different locations of the cell. The proteins that is synthesized in RER is transferred to Golgi apparatus where it is further modified, addressed, then it will be pinched off as vesicles 
and moved out of the cell in the case of secretory proteins or embedded on the membrane in case of membrane proteins. The functions of smooth endoplasmic reticulum include synthesis and storage of fatty acids, phospholipids that is needed for the membrane and also synthesis of steroids. It's also involved in maintenance of calcium homeostasis. It's a prominent organelle that is involved in detoxification reactions. It detoxifies molecules such as alcohol, drugs and metabolic waste products. Difference number seven regarding the diseases associated with endoplasmic reticulum stress. Diseases like spondyloepimetaphyseal dysplasia, it is due to the accumulation of misfolded collagen proteins in rough endoplasmic reticulum. It's a genetic disorder that lead to abnormal bonds, primarily due to malfunctioning of RER. Prolonged ER stress is associated with diseases like Alzheimer's or neurodegeneration, atherosclerosis, type 2 diabetes, and the progression of cancer. As you see, ER stress leads to misfolded proteins, then there can be intracellular stress conditions and also hypoxia, acidosis, hydrogen sulfide production, etc., all leading to various diseases. So these are the seven differences between rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing this channel. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your attention. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.